Got some new projects in this week. You guys may have seen this one at uh, Born Free last year. Won the Crazy Frank's competition, the little buzzard. Doing a top end job on this one. But uh, for tonight, what I want to focus on is this frame. This is a 47 knucklehead frame. It's heavily molded. Um, I know all the history on it. I got it from the guy who's owned it for 50 years. And uh, he unfortunately got sick. And uh, I took it off his hands and finished the build for him. Had a 49 pan head motor in it. Everything polished. You can still see the trans has got a little shine left to it. But uh, what ended up happening is it cracked my engine cases on the front left motor mount and the rear right motor mount. And I started finding hairline cracks in the Bondo around uh, both the front and rear motor mounts. So I've got to uh, strip it and uh, see if something broke or what happened. Hopefully we still got the sidecar loops in there, but there's only one way to find out. This uh, front end never went on it either. It had a extended 45 Springer. I just put that one on uh, so I could roll it around. But yeah, get to it. So after about uh, eight hours of work on this today, um, this is what we ended up with. It's actually a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. There's definitely uh, stuff that needs to get fixed. Quite a lot of stuff actually, but uh, it turned out to be a nice frame. Let's see if I can get everything to focus. It's uh, uncut neck. You can see. Uh, See the casting T in there. Got a front motor mount casting. Just gonna have to wait for it to zoom. You can see it right there in the center. Rear motor mount. And we've got the axle plate too. Zoom in. I didn't want to go too deep on this because it's faint already, so uh, I'd like that to stay there. But we've got all our numbers. So it's actually a, a really good frame to recondition and put back to stock. Motor mount's still there. Um, they cut the side car loops off, which I was super bummed about. But it is what it is, and that's what they did, so it's too late to worry about it. You can see this frame's, uh, I don't know, stretched maybe four inches up. And so let her zoom again. Let her focus back in. So you can see right there where they brace it all back together. Right after where the rear legs come in and it goes up. And then uh, there's the extensions. And those to me are super funky. I'm sure they'll work fine, but uh, we got to put this thing back to stock. So this frame's going to either go uh, to Washington, to Wasco Frames, 
and get fully reconditioned there or to uh, Dr. John's in Anaheim. Um, one or the other, I don't know, I'm debating on how crazy I want to go on this frame still. But tomorrow it's going to go out to get sandblasted and get the rest of this little bondo off. And um, we'll see how it looks when it gets back.